Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video just nearby on your net. And welcome back to this Mount Massive Asylum Minecraft map. It has been a good few months since the last update. So I figured I would show one today since I feel like I've got enough to actually show you guys in an actual video. And yeah, so there hasn't been as much uh, new developments and changes as uh, the last video. But... Um, there still have been changes regardless, and improvements and developments, especially in the interior, as you'll see. Uh, but actually, for the exterior, you will see that the administration block is taking shape, as well as this front courtyard area. So I have started planning it out. The only area I really have built at the moment is the parking lot. So, and even then, it's just a basic structure. I still haven't added the finer details, like the barbed wire and all that oh, but i do have the basic structure and so yeah exterior of the administration block is coming to a close i've uh, you know got the side entrance here and some of these side areas i'm still working on so that's that's still a work in progress uh pretty much everything is a work in progress but i'm i'm getting there so yeah uh very nice angles here so i'm gonna try to show some interesting angles throughout the video and so yeah you know pretty much got the front of the administration block except for the roof there and also kind of this uh you know this main entrance area still working on it and yeah so i think that's basically it for the uh, exterior i don't think i really have to mention anything else yeah all right all right good yeah so it's time to take a look at the interior and of course, we have the main lobby here. It's very big. It's a lot bigger than my older map, older maps uh, lobby, that's for sure. So yeah, we got the lobby and we got some of the, like the surrounding spaces. So like these offices here, for example. So yeah, basic structure is done. Uh, there's no furniture just yet, uh, although you will see it. And yeah, this wood flooring, you're going to see a lot throughout the video. So just be ready for that. And this, uh, uh, the wood paneling with kind of the, the blue at the top there. And also what's very interesting is that this, uh, ceiling here is actually just, uh, it's the same exact ceiling from my old map. So, like, the, uh, like the stairs with the trap doors, that's the exact same stuff I used in my old map. So that's one of the very few elements I was actually able to reuse from that. But most of this is original. So yeah, more side areas. Yeah, so like the main areas in terms of structure are done. It's just kind of these side areas that I still need to work on a bit. Yeah, like this room, this room it doesn't even have its walls yet. Still didn't add those. Um, And yeah, so yeah, main staircase and elevator. Not really a whole lot to really say about that. I just really just haven't had the motivation to actually build the stairs and elevator. So yeah, hallways here. And, um, oh, that's right. Yeah, I don't have spectator mode on, so I'm not going to be able to fly through stuff. So, yeah, here's one of, you know, these main rooms, like the corner rooms. And, and yeah, you can see it's really dark in here because the maintenance shed in the courtyard actually blocks those windows out. So, I'm going to make sure to show the uh, maintenance shed later in the video because that's, uh, that's something new. So, but, uh, yeah, more rooms. And this room actually has the fireplace. So, yeah, you can see that the basic rooms are done. I uh, just have to add furniture. And, yeah, this leads to the mail ward. Although, I'm not going to show the mail ward in this video since there are some... There have been some really new, new and excited, exciting developments for the mail ward on the first floor, at least. So... Um, don't want to show that just yet. See, so yeah, I more rooms, and again, these these windows are blocked because of the hallway that connects the administration block to the prison block. So, in that hallway, actually, the actual structure blocks those windows out. 
And so, yeah, this leads to the, the female word. It's a little bit brighter because the windows, I've added the windows there. So, and I also got this, uh, these trapdoors here. I don't, don't remember, don't remember the names of them, but it's, it's like the trapdoors. And I put them there because they look a lot like the wood planking that's on a dado of the, uh, of some of the hallways in the administration block. And then this just leads to the female word. So if you're curious, there haven't been any, I haven't really worked on the female word like at all in the past few months. So there's really not a whole lot to really show there either. Oh, so yeah, let's go up to the second floor now. So yeah, we have the upper level of the actual lobby here. So you get a really good idea of how it actually looks like. So yeah, again, the basic structure is done. Uh, in the end, this will look a lot nicer than it does now. So, so far it's, you know, it looks all right, but it will look a lot better uh, in the end. So yeah, we have the library. This is also done. Just, you know, when I say done, that means just the basic structure. And yeah, that flooring, the, the light gray wool, I think I'm going to change that because it doesn't really match the carpet color that's in the actual game, so it's not really gray. So yeah, more hallways here. Again, still work in progress. Uh, this room is done for the most part. So yeah, A205. Uh, this room that's just completely clad in wood. It's just wood flooring, wood paneling, you know, wall coverings, and... Uh, Wood ceiling, very interesting room. And so yeah, that's kind of it for this like main area. And then of course we have the two wings that kind of branch off of the main area. It's really dark in here. I um, think I'm, for these updates, I'm gonna enable night vision because I've noticed that in my game, it actually looks a little bit brighter than it does when I upload it to YouTube. So. I just when it's on YouTube, it just almost looks basically pitch black when I'm, whenever I'm in these rooms. So it's just something I'm gonna have to keep in mind for the next for the next update. So yeah, uh, office there, and so I still need to kind of finish these rooms. Some of them, like these ones, the main rooms are done. So these larger rooms, and you can actually look at these windows. This is this has become one of my favorite aspects of actually building this map. It's that you can actually look out of the windows now. Of course, when you're in the game, there's very few windows that you can actually like look out of. Most windows in the game are like you can't look out of them and see stuff outside, but uh here you actually can. So it you know kind of gives a better understanding of the actual building, which is which is really cool. And then, of course, this leads to the, the mail ward. Now, this is the second level here. Of course, this area is where Waylon goes through uh, near the end of Outlast Whistleblower. I think you've seen this before. So there's not really a whole lot to really show. Although I did add the uh, dormitories as well. So they're basically just the female ward dormitories, except, of course, then the mail ward. Uh, paint scheme and then over here yeah and, and that office there um what's very interesting is that's not technically an exterior room because the window is separated from the exterior wall by several layers of blocks so it's very interesting so yeah uh more rooms and then here's one of the rooms that are you know technically considered done and again you can look out of the windows which is really cool although it's not really a whole lot to really see at the moment it's just the parking lot and then over here this leads to the prison block i guess i'll show it if you're curious as to what this looks like so this is also basically done so the windows have been added so this is relatively new even though i did this like months ago i did this like soon after the, the last update i think And then a uh, female ward. And yeah, we, we have the windows here. So this is one of the few windows in the hallway that you can actually look out of because the windows in like the hallways 
like connecting the different sections, they don't they don't actually line up with each other. So like the windows you see on the inside and then like versus the outside, they don't line up, which is kind of annoying. And yeah, I think that's basically it for the second level. So now we can head up to the, oh, whoops. Yeah, I just accidentally tapped, uh, double tapped spacebar and it let, I was just like free falling for a second. But yeah, we have the third level now. And you can also notice that the third floor, the ceiling is a lot lower than on the first and second floor. So yeah, kitchen here, basic structure is done. It's just I need to add all of the appliances and stuff in here. Of course, a basic kitchen would have. So yeah, a lot of quartz, as you can see, here and in the uh, cafeteria area. I used a lot of quartz in here. And, yeah, and again, you can look out of these windows, which is really cool. Although there's not really a, there's not really a whole lot to see out at the moment. And of course, we have the windows going all the way down to the to the second floor, right there. So yeah, it's coming together. Although uh, slowly but surely, it's getting there. And in this area, yeah, you've you've seen this before. This was one of the few areas I actually had in the last video that I had done. So yeah, here you can actually see a little bit of furniture. So I've been uh, building a few uh, test models. So these, this and one of the other rooms is the only room that actually has furniture in it at the moment. The rest are unfurnished. So yeah. And in this room, yeah, this I have to change. this. The ceiling in here is too low. It's actually a little bit taller than this. So I'm going to have to go back and change it. It's just that I'm kind of lazy because I notice I'm lazy whenever I have to change something. And then this is just the hallway that leads to the, the prison block for the third floor. And fun fact is that the windows on the third floor of the hallway don't line up with the ones on the second floor. So I only discovered that relatively recently, actually. So it's just one of the few things you learn when building this, when you're recreating the asylum. You learn new things. And yeah, this is the other room that has beds in it. And then going on to the other side. Oh, wait, hang on. I forgot. I forgot a room. Uh, there is the, the rec room. So this room with the uh, pool table and the TV where you get a, you get a doc, you get a note from this room and this room has two doors leading into it and yeah going on to the other side there's really not a whole lot to really say at the moment i mean most of them these rooms are empty these are just the uh staff quarters pretty much and yeah so more of these rooms and again you get some really really nice views of the courtyard from here Looks really good, I have to say. So yeah. And then that's basically it for the third floor. And yeah, this room has the fireplace on the on the one side. It's different than on the second floor because the fireplace is on a different wall. Very interesting. And yeah, that's basically it for the admin administration block. Uh, we're going to head out to the courtyard, and I'll show you a little bit of some of the stuff I've added in there as well. And yeah, so let's see here. So yeah, here's just kind of a wide view of the courtyard. Very large, as you can see. Uh, but here's the maintenance shed. So this is new. In the last video, I had only just laid down the, found the foundation for it. But here it's almost done, so for the most part. It's not 100% done, but it is almost uh, done in terms of uh, structure, at least. And I even have the gates here, so uh, one of them is open as well, just like in the, in the actual game. And we got the ladder here, so everything's all here. Made sure to take everything into account when building this. 
it's, it's very it's very tedious having to go back and forth um you know having to go back to the game and making sure you got everything accurate and that everything's there so yeah and here's just the inside there's really not a whole lot to really see at the moment except for some pretty interesting angles of the courtyard And yeah, that's pretty much it. And then there's the uh, second courtyard, uh, not courtyard, uh, maintenance shed. This one you can see is actually uh, constructed out of sandstone, not brick like the other one. It's also got the ladder here. Yeah, I'm still not done. I still need to kind of figure the roof out a little bit there. So yeah, more details on the exterior of the administration block. Like these like window casings, these very large like window casings there. And we got all of the chain link fences now. So they're all here. And we also even got oh, this little side entrance. A very nice view of the mail ward from here. Very nice. And then this you've seen before. Yeah, this was here. So I just think some details might have been added, but that's... That's pretty much it. So just kind of the exterior of the prison block. Oh yes, um, the gazebo. Yeah, this is this is new. This wasn't here, so I even took the time to put it in. It's it's pretty much done except the roof. The roof is kind of weird because uh, the roof that you saw at the top there. Um, that that was my first attempt at it. So it's not bad for a first attempt, but I do want to go back and change it. And I also added some of the dormers as well. So yeah, the courtyard is also uh, coming together quite nicely. Oh yeah, I also forgot. Yeah, I've also added some of the walkways, if you haven't noticed. So you got uh, most of the walkways done. You also got the fountain in there. And then, of course, that leads to the mail ward entrance. And then there's also this kind of smaller kind of shed here. I'm, I'm still working on this, as you can see. And yeah, and I also added the, uh, the hill that's kind of built into the side of the hallway connecting the mail ward to the... Uh, the mail ward, vocational block, and prison block together, so... Yeah... That's pretty much it that I'm going to show you guys. Uh, this was a little bit of a longer video. I think this is actually the longest update video so far. So yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed. And uh, after, so this is my progress for a bit, after about a year. So this is, this is how much I accomplished in a year. So quite a bit of progress. I'm hoping that by the next year, this will be done. So looking really forward to it. But in the meantime, I will continue to work on this whenever I can. And yeah, guys, so that's going to be it for this update video. Thank you so much for watching. And I promise I'll be back soon with another one of these update videos. So yeah, that's going to be it for the video, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Until then, bye for now.